morning, YouTube. How you guys doing today? Man, it's a beautiful day. It's uh, Sunday, and uh, I'm headed back to uh, Richfield in Wisconsin right now. I'm in Pennsylvania. I was hoping to drop this load today and uh, be able to pick up another load Monday to deliver on Monday so that I can get just a few extra miles. But it's not going to happen. Uh, I'm uh, 11 hours out. Well, when I started this morning, I was 11 hours out from uh, Richfield, but I only had eight hours to drive uh, by seven. So there's not any way that I can get it there today. I'll be about, you know, if I can get it all driven out, which is, you know, it all depends on where I can stop at. But I'll drive out as much of it as I can. And, uh, if I get it all driven out today, what I've got on the clock, I'll still be three hours short of Richfield. And then, because I'm running off of, let me, let me roll these windows up, uh, so we can cut out some of this road noise there. Uh, but anyway, since uh, I'm running off of what I pick up tomorrow, uh, that's much better, uh, then, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm running off of whatever I pick up for the next day right now because my 70s used up. Uh, Monday I'm going to be picking up, I don't know, maybe eight, eight, eight hours I think is what it is, somewhere right around eight hours. Uh, maybe eight hours and 20, 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, and so by the time I drop Monday, I'll already have used three of those. But I'll only have like five hours left. And uh, honestly, you know, five hours, that isn't very far, you know, maybe 300 miles, uh, you know, in, in good conditions. So, you know, I'm not really expecting to be able to uh, to make another delivery on Monday. Uh, you know, if I do, it's going to be really short, you know, a 200 mile run, you know, something like that, you know, 200, 200 to 300 mile run maximum, you know. Uh, you know, which, you know, I'll take it, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, I mean, I'm going to end this week at, and, um, oh, let's see what I got here. I got it figured out already. I'm going to end this week at 3,385 miles. Uh, unless I get something really short out of Richfield that I can deliver Monday. But, you know, I'm not counting on that now. So what I'm hoping is that uh, I'll get a load Monday uh, right after I deliver this that will allow me to deliver on uh, on Tuesday with about... Oh, seven, eight hundred miles, you know, something like that, and that would start off next week, you know, really good, put me on track to be getting another thirty-five hundred week. Um, so anyway, uh, I, you know, I got up this morning and I didn't want to get up, and uh, I get this serious case of I don't want us when uh, I know I'm not on a tight time schedule, you know, and I know that I only have eight hours to drive today. And, Pulling out when I pulled out. I pulled out at about five o'clock this morning, uh, four o'clock this morning. I pulled out around four o'clock this morning. Uh, I think. Anyway, I was still kind of tired when I pulled out, so I might be wrong on the time. But anyway, uh, with the eight hours that I've got, the way I had it figured is that I'm going to be pulling over somewhere around two o'clock today. Uh, I had eight hours and some change, and so somewhere down here, I'm going to go ahead and take a. Uh, uh, 30 minute break. Let me turn this camera around so y'all can see some of this. But this is awesome. You know, I mean, I'm in a construction zone right now, but, you know, it's still awesome. Let me turn that around so y'all can see some of that. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to take a 30 minute break so I can get that last bit of change also. And I'm going to run it all the way out. But even so, I knew that I was going to get pulled over. I mean, I was going to get pulled over and stopped at around 2 o'clock this afternoon. So, I wasn't too terribly concerned with the time. You know, I mean, I could have hung out another couple hours and still really had no problem finding parking. Oh, man, look at that. Ain't that pretty? Uh, anyway, uh, so I got pulled out, and I'm running uh, through this uh, northern part of Pennsylvania here. I mean, southern part of Pennsylvania here, because I picked up in Maryland. I'm, uh, I'm, I come up back in through Pennsylvania, and I'm going to cut over into Ohio. Uh, but I was in this uh, area over here by Somerset. I don't know if you know where Somerset is, but I was maybe oh, 30, 40 miles outside of Somerset doing this mountain climbing out here. And then these, 
the roads were really narrow and um, and really really steep, you know. And and um, you know, I was having a hard time getting over 30 miles an hour a couple times. I was even down to like 25 miles an hour, you know. I mean, it was pretty rough. And uh, you know, and so you know, I'm going fairly slow. And uh, you know, it was it was uh, sunlight was coming up. If if you're friends with me on Facebook. I posted a couple of pictures. I pulled off the side of the road to take a picture of the sunrise, and I took a picture of my truck, you know, and I posted both of those up there on, on Facebook. So, um, you know, if you're friends with me on Facebook, go back and, you know, you may have to scroll through a few days because I'm not positive when I'll get this loaded up. But uh, go back to my Facebook and look at those pictures. They're really awesome. So anyway, um, after I took those pictures, uh, about 12, 30 minutes later, so, you know, the sun was coming up, but we were in this um, canopied area, you know, where the trees are coming up over the, the highway and, or the, the road. It's not really a highway, but anyway, um, and it's real narrow, and I'm going through these mountains, and I'm coming up on this little town uh, just, you know, before Somerset, and uh, a black bear ran out of the woods and stopped in the middle of the road, you know, and of course, I'm going slow enough, I didn't have any problem stopping, you know, but... Um, so I stopped and I went to grab my camera so I could take a picture of him and he took off, you know, up until by the time I got my camera and got it ready to take a picture, you know, he was already gone. I missed the, I missed the shot, but man, it was the most awesome thing, you know, uh, you know, it was just in daylight, you know, you had that kind of reddish gold color up in the sky, you know, and, and um, we were in this canopy, so it was kind of dark, but light was filtering through and and that black bear just ran out the road. He wasn't real big, you know, I mean, if he'd have stood up, he might have been, you know, just under six foot. Um, you know, he wasn't that big, and he looked like he was pretty young, but um, and it was just so awesome, you know, and I sat there for a minute, you know, in the middle of the road because, you know, he was fairly small, like I said, you know, if he'd have stood up, he might have been, you know, just under six foot, I'd say probably maybe five, five and a half foot, something like that. Um, probably closer to five, I don't know. But anyway, um, he, he looked like he was really young, and so I thought maybe there had been a mama bear, you know, and you know maybe a couple siblings or something. And I sat there for a second waiting, and nothing came out, you know, but it was just really awesome, you know. I mean, I've told y'all before that I've got a real love of nature, you know, and, and um, you know, I love seeing stuff like that. You know, I mean, it just really made my day, and... Um, you know, it, it, it started off my day the way I wish all of them would start off, you know. And, uh, you know, I was really, I, mean, I was pretty stoked about it. You know, I'm still pretty stoked about it. And I, I posted about it on Facebook, you know, and all that good stuff, you know. But then I got back on the road and I ran, I ran some more. I wish I'd have got a picture of it, you know. Uh, but uh, that's another reason why I want to get my own, uh, my own dash cam. I want to buy my own dash cam and put it, put it up here in the in the window so that next time something like that happens you know and I got a black bear that crosses my path you know I mean I've got it it's right there you know and I can uh, you know I can I can take the film clip you know and I can upload it here to Facebook I mean I'll upload it to uh, not Facebook but YouTube and let y'all see it you know and, and uh, you know so anyway that's on my list probably one of the next major purchases I'm gonna buy you know you know is gonna be that Man, I'm pretty happy about it. It was just a good day, you know, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So uh, I wanted to share it with you, you know, and let you know, uh, you know, kind of, you know, that was my big thing for today, you know, and, and I don't know, maybe, you know, stuff like that might seem kind of silly to some of you guys, you know, y'all might might be like, yeah, this dude's going on and on about a damn bear, you know, but I don't know, man. You just got to see things from my perspective, I guess, you know, I mean, I just really love nature. I love seeing you know, stuff like that, you know, I mean, I, I'm a hunter, you know, don't get me wrong, I, uh, I'll i go out and I'll hunt deer and, and hog and, you know, and all that, you know, and, and uh, I don't mind killing them and eating them, you know, I'm not no, you know, I'm not one of these old uh, PETA guys, you know, uh, it's just, uh, it's just not my thing, you know, I think PETA stands for please eat this animal, you know, but um, I still love seeing them, you know, when, you know, if I'm a hunter, you know, once I go out and get my meat, you know, and I ain't done any hunting in a long time, but just because of circumstances, but, you know, if, uh, you know, if I got my meat and I'm good, you know, I'll sit out there and watch, you know, watch these animals run around all day long, you know, and just love it and take pictures of them. Anyway, you know, I know y'all don't give a shit about that. That's just my thing, you know, and 
and uh, thought I'd share it with you. And while I was at it, you know, let you get a little bit of uh, footage of this really nice country we're running through here. I uh, picked up in uh, Maryland. Uh, well, I delivered in Pennsylvania and then went to Maryland and uh, picked up in Maryland. And uh, I'll tell you what, Pennsylvania can be a real pain to navigate, you know. Uh, so can Maryland, you know, uh, some of those places, you know, Pennsylvania especially. As long as you're on a major interstate or, you know, a major highway, you know, it's all right. You know, it's not that bad. And running through it is awesome, you know, because it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, I, I just love it. I, I'm driving through this state is one of my favorite things. Delivering in this state, I detest it with a passion. You know, I don't like delivering in this state at all. Anywhere in the state, honestly. Uh, you know, these roads out here just are not designed for big trucks, you know. Uh, they're, they're just not, you know. And, you know, maybe if I was carrying a 24-foot box or something like that, you know, that might be different. But, you know, they're not designed for a 53-foot trailer, you know. And navigating through these towns on a 53-foot trailer can be dangerous and frustrating. And, uh, you know, it can be aggravating because there's sometimes that, you know, you just cannot make the turn that you got to make, you know, to get where you need to go. So you've got to... You know, you've got to make left-hand turns and, you know, re reposition yourself. Oh, wow, there's a deer crossing the road. See him? Oh, man. Hey, any eastbound coming down here, you got a, you got a deer sitting in the middle of the road, so y'all might want to be a little bit careful. That, see, that's stuff like that. Ah, oh, shit, I missed my gear. It's stuff like that that I really like, you know. Getting to see a, you know, the live, the live livestock coming through here. Livestock, livestock's not really the thing anyway. The animals coming through here, so that's pretty neat, man. That, it just kind of made my day. But this guy here, now. hey y'all, there he's found. You got a deer in the middle of the road there, right in front of you. So be careful. Okay. Anyway, um. Anyway, that's about it, you know, uh, I just wanted to share it with you, you know, show it to you, and, uh, you know, maybe you don't like it as much as I do, you know, maybe it's not as, um, you know, as badass to you as it is to me, you know, but, you know, that's what I like, you know, and, and I love seeing all this stuff out here, you know, it's just, it really makes my day, so, anyway, that's my deal for today. I've shared it with you. We've got about 13 minutes worth of video here. Y'all have seen a little bit of this road. A lot of it's been in construction. Uh, construction is something that we deal with more than anything else, you know. Just about everywhere we go, there's some construction. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off for now. And, uh, you know, we'll catch y'all a little bit later on. Y'all take care. Peace out.